afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back on another episode of the Lewis Sports Network. It is your boy Lewis coming back at you with another heavy hit of banger with yet another video. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure your notifications are turned on. Make sure you got make sure you guys are sharing the content and make sure you guys comment down below in the comment section. Truly appreciate it. Happy weekend. Hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. Now on to this video and make sure you share this on your social media outlets and on Reddit. UFC 250 tonight in Vegas, in the Apex Center in UFC in Las Vegas. I want to focus on the women's featherweight title title bout between arguably the GOAT, or she is the GOAT, Amanda Nunes, going up against Felicia Spencer. Uh, Felicia Spencer comes in with an 8-1 record, going up against Amanda Nunes. Amanda, I believe, is 14-1, if I'm not mistaken, herself. And here's how we're looking at it. So it is for the featherweight title. This is a... Um, this is both uh, Amanda's fighting in at the 145 mark. And I didn't get a chance to see the weigh-ins, but uh, I will check out those videos later on. But okay, so now I'm going to go to the keys to the fight. Now, Amanda is the heavy favorite uh, going up against Felicia. And Felicia obviously is the underdog. But I'm going to give you actually guys three keys on both Amanda and Felicia for um, either one of them to win this fight tonight. Now. Starting with the underdog, Felicia Spencer. Now, in order for her to win this fight, she's going to have to do three things. Now, obviously, you have to have hope because people, uh, there's people that are saying that Felicia has no chance against her. Anything can happen. Anything can happen in the world of sports. The key thing with Felicia when it comes to hope is there's always something that could happen that could cause, you know, the favorite to have an off night and it's happened before we've seen it we just saw what happened with Tyron Woodley going against Gil Gilberto Burns Woodley was the favorite and you saw how he pretty much he was he was pretty much garbage that entire fight and it was disappointing uh Amanda Nunes may have some slip-ups uh she might have some she might have some bad timing she might even look sloppy Amanda did not look she looked flat at times in her last fight so I honestly believe that to sit here and say that Felicia doesn't have a chance to beat her is, you know, complete nonsense. Uh, but I do, I'll tell you my prediction at the end. So she definitely has got to have hope. Um, hope is going to have to be on her side. I will say this as an advantage that can help her. She's not going to be in a crowd. So there's not going to be a crowd that's going to be favoring Nunes. There's no crowd. So that's the benefit. That's something that can actually help Felicia going into a fight. Um, no crowd. So she's got some hope. So that's good. Okay. Now, then we have that. So now another thing that she has to do, in my opinion, is she's going to have to really uh, time her strikes. And she definitely is going to have to make sure that she doesn't allow Nunez uh, to use her tie kicks. Um, I think that she needs to use her leverage uh, and push her up against the gate uh, so that Nunez is not allowed to go off and tee off with her kicks and strikes. Uh, she also needs to not stand stationary. If she starts to stand stationary and she starts to trade blows, I think one that's gonna wear that's gonna wear Felicia down. Uh, and also, she does have tend to have like a little bit of a stamina issue, even though she did go, um, she did prove that she could go toe to toe. Uh, which listen, Felicia has great toughness. Uh, she's got a lot of heart, um, but she doesn't want to tire herself out early trying to trade blows. She has to really fight this match really strategically. And what she needs to do again is make sure, make sure that she can also like get her in takedowns. If she can get her in takedowns and stay on top and not allow, and um, make sure to capitalize on openings while Nunes is on the ground trying to escape uh, when you're on mount position. So if Felicia can get her with some takedowns and make sure that she stays on top, she has a very good chance. And anytime that, um, Amanda is trying to escape. Make sure that you're able to time, uh, use your use your strikes, and make sure you're able to get her get her with some vicious elbows. Because that was actually one of the things that um, helped her stay in the fight with Chris Cyborg. You know her ability to um, use her elbows, despite the fact that she was, uh, you know, she was gassed uh, and you know really tired. But like I said, uh, that's the one thing that worries me about her: her trading so many blows and trying to get strikes that she tires herself out. So she has to fight this fight really smart. So I, I definitely say that. She need she needs to time her strikes. She needs to capitalize on Nunez's mistakes. Make sure that she gets her on takedowns. Use her weight to her advantage. 
like her leverage and then make sure that she stays on top of her and not allow Nunes to be able to counter or be able to, um, you know, use her submissions while they're on the ground. If Nunes is allowed to counter and Felicia doesn't watch it, Nunes can force her to submit. So that's that's key. Uh, so now the most important and then obviously the third thing for Felicia, she's got to maintain constant pressure. Like don't don't stand around and allow Nunes to dictate the fight. Press her. Keep pressing her, but don't trade blows. Just press her to cut off the ring. I think if she can definitely do that, that will force Nunes to obviously might have to change her game plan. And then it won't allow Nunes to throw any kicks. It won't, her throw, it won't allow her to throw any strikes. Keep the constant pressure and cut off the ring. Felicia can do that. She definitely has a chance to win for sure. Okay. So now we're going to get to my prediction on the three things that Amanda Nunes has to do in order to win this fight. Get into the GOAT Amanda Nunes. Now, here are the keys for her to win this fight against Felicia Spencer. Number one, she just pretty much has to dictate the pace of the fight. Don't allow Felicia to dictate the pace. Uh, make her fight to your style and use your advantage over her. And I think it's going to be just easy pickings for Amanda Nunes. Um, even though Amanda did not look good in her last fight, I think she's going to come out determined and I think she's going to come out ready. Uh, so Felicia has to be wary of that because I think Amanda can come out. Amanda is usually very composed uh, and she's always looking for openings and be careful uh, with Felicia because any openings Amanda can see, she will take advantage and she very she, she can explode really quick. Uh, so I think that Amanda, definitely all she has to really do is just once again, as I said, make sure that you dictate the pace. Don't allow Felicia to dictate the pace because if she is allowed to dictate the pace, then the Nunes is going to have a long night and it's the, and the fight is going to go a lot longer than Nunes expected. So, and then you're going to have to wonder where's going to be her mental state if the fight goes long. So key, key for that. Number two, she needs to just use her technique and skill. Once Felicia gets into the technique and skills of Amanda Nunes, that's where Felicia is going to get beat. So as long as Amanda Nunes, Nunes uses this, her technique, she uses her Muay Thai, uh, if she happens to get her on the ground, able to use her submits, you know, some of her submissions, Felicia's pretty much done. So she pretty much needs to do that pretty much. And again, at the end of the day, the last and not least, people just need to really show respect to Amanda Nunes's name. I mean, there's a reason why she's been as good as she's been. Uh, she had a, I remember that she had a TKO loss, uh, which was her only, only loss. And when she beat Chris Cyborg, uh, she TKO'd her, you know, to win the featherweight title. Uh, right now, she's in her prime. She's 32 years old. I know people are saying that uh, she did have a recent, she had, she had an ankle injury. Uh, and also that uh, she kind of, uh, I believe she had a first child, you know, with her partner. So they might think that because of her, you know, little injury and on the top of the fact that she's a little bit distracted, uh, you know, with, you know, having a child that she may not be, you know, mentally prepared for this fight, you know, we're going to wait and see, but then I'm just going to look at it this way, man. Uh, I think Amanda is the best in the game right now. She is the measuring stick. And I think Amanda, as long as she does those three things, people put in respect, Amanda stays focused. Just, just make sure that she stays focused. I think she'll be fine. Now to my final verdict. And we have come to the end of the video my prediction who wins this fight i don't think felicia spencer is gonna get knocked out and this is just my personal opinion i think that this might go to the full five rounds if anything it might be a little bit less i mean you're looking at a bunch of possibilities you're looking at amanda could get her in a tko you could look at amanda getting a ko uh you look at amanda might getting her by submission uh i could see amanda winning by unanimous decision uh, for Felicia Spencer, I can see her knocking her out and I can also see her winning by um, decision. So I, it's just um, I thought if Felicia had more techniques compared to um, if she had a little if she was a little bit more well rounded, kind of like Amanda, I would have even gave her some, you know, uh, chances to win by even by submission, too. Um, but she could KO, TKO or win by unanimous, too. So you have that extra decision. So my personal decision is, who wins this fight? I got Amanda Nunes winning. I don't see, I think Felicia's going to give her a good fight. I think there's going to be some moments. 
I would be disappointed if the fight ends up super early, like not even a, you know, not even a, doesn't even go past the first round or you lose within the first 20 seconds of the fight. Like I said, I think both ladies have to fight really smart and for either one of them to win. But I got Amanda Nunes winning by unanimous decision. Uh, I don't think she's going to knock her out. She can. Felicia can do it too. But I think Nunes wins by unanimous decision. And that's my personal opinion. So ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Lewis back with another one on my UFC 250 fight prediction between Amanda Nunes and Felton and Felicia Spencer. Excuse me. Let me know what you guys think for my UFC fans out there. What are you guys looking forward to in that fight? Or you can also let me know what you guys are looking for even in the preliminary cards and um, in the main event card. All the fights to look forward to. So bless up. Live, laugh, love. Thank you for watching.